I do think there are some other ones that that it could be. Uh, so for the record, the ham thing again, seventy seven million pounds sold sold for Thanksgiving. It's a significant amount, just not much compared to turkey at the three sixty five. Also, ham. I mean, like Christmas ham, right? Mm-hmm. So ham doesn't have the advantage of being. Um, if you, especially if you think of it as like next level evidence when you think of a food item and then you think Thanksgiving, you probably don't think ham Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. You probably do think pumpkin pie Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. turkey Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. stuffing Thanksgiving. I know that mashed potatoes doesn't fit that either, but mashed potatoes is such a given as a side dish. I guess even arguably the number one side dish, I would still say stuffing. Um but based on that state's mm-hmm. preference, it's mashed potatoes. But I mean, you know, it's, yeah. it's not exactly the most scientific study in the world. Yeah. Just sort of helpful to flesh things out. Cranberry sauce, worth a shout out. $42 mm-hmm. million dollars spent on it just for Thanksgiving. Uh, only took one state in that study for favorite side dish, which I don't even consider a cranberry sauce a side dish. I think of it more of a condiment, mm-hmm. which brings me to another yeah. thing I want to make a point about, which is gravy. I could see somebody arguing for gravy, yeah. but again, I would argue it's more of a garnish <laughs> right. on the food than yeah. it is its own food item. Because you don't eat gravy. Yeah, don't eat gravy. I mean, you might. You might. It is gross. pretty delicious. <laughs> you be um, gross. Did yes. You know well, people will judge you. So do it. So do If you're going to eat just gravy, yeah. if you're going to drink it like it's soup. You're going to be known as the guy that eats the gravy. Well, just 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 go away. Be that, be that person yeah. who's like, hey, I've got to watch the pregame for football, which I'm that guy. So... Join me there, Take your drinking bowl our, our your bowl cup. of soup, <laughs> of of, gravy. of turkey gravy oh, soup. Mm, yum. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, so that's that's sort of um, my thing against gravy. I could see an argument for gravy mm-hmm. because you could say like turkey, like the 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 quartet almost of mm. turkey stuffing potatoes all mixed with gravy. Mm-hmm. That's like. You know, for example, the Thanksgiving sandwich, I forget what it's called exactly, but that sandwich, I Mm. think, is intrinsically like, you know, the bread, turkey. I think it has mashed potatoes in it, has stuffing in it, It does have cranberry sauce in it as Mm. well, but I think it also has gravy. Okay. So gravy is pretty linked. Sweet potatoes, little shout out. Yeah. I just don't think, my my issue with sweet potatoes is it's not intrinsically linked. It's like the cousin. Yeah. It's sort of like the thing that like is often there, but, but. A way to think of this, too, is if you went to a Thanksgiving dinner, what are you expecting mm-hmm. will be there? So it's, it's sort of like if you go to your favorite artist concert, right? If, let's say you go to, <laughs> just for an example, everybody would know. If you go to a Journey concert and they have the audacity to not do Don't right. Stop Believing," you're ticked. Right. And because that's just a song that, yeah. you know, they're like contractually obligated to play because you paid money to see them, basically. So for the Thanksgiving thing, it's the same idea, mm-hmm. right? Like if, if you went to somebody's Thanksgiving dinner mm-hmm. and they didn't have turkey, you'd be like, mm-hmm. where? Unless you come to my house, then you're like, oh, well, he's not from here. Is he going to have everything that we <laughs> <laughs> supposed to have? Yeah, but your wife's American, so yeah. so so yeah. she knows Thanksgiving, yeah, even she, if you don't. She but would hey, keep it straight. You 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 proved that you know Thanksgiving today. <laughs> so so I, I trust I trust you now. Okay. So now I'll, I'll okay. accept that invite. <laughs> Very well. But um, so did you just invite yourself to my? No, nah, I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> that was the joke. But <laughs> uh, so something I thought was interesting: mac and cheese came up. Mm-hmm. It was the favorite of six states. I never have even thought of mac and cheese as a. Not as a Thanksgiving. As a Thanksgiving. I mean, it's thing. there. It's, it, mac and cheese, now that you mention it, it's like, oh, yeah, we have mac and cheese also. Oh, you do? Type of thing. Okay, because I feel like I've never had, this might not be true, but I don't think I've ever had it. It seems to me like the type of thing that people started to implement when they're like, mm-hmm. ah, the kids don't like most of the other foods. Mm-hmm. So we'll just give them mac yeah. and cheese yeah. so that they can eat that. They can and have the something enjoy to eat. Some too. Here's another one that I had and I just uh, decided not to. I mm-hmm. uh, consider it very... Shortly is the green beans casserole. Yes, I think that's the closest one. Of and, the ones I and I think that you do find it in every one, but yeah, pretty much. I feel like it, from what I've noticed, a lot of people don't really like them. Really? Like I they love just, green bean casserole. Okay, but you're Joseph. Uh, that's true. The people that, that I've, I've I've experienced is like. Yeah, we eat it because it's there. It's part of the whole meal. So let's put a little bit of it. Interesting. But like, I don't know. 
by far the best way to have green beans, in my opinion, because I don't love green beans, mm-hmm. but I love me some cream of mushroom soup, <laughs> so that helps. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's cool. good stuff. But yeah, if, if I had to pick a fifth one, or if I could pick, pick a fifth one regardless, mm-hmm. I think that would be that fifth one. Yeah. I can see an argument for ham, maybe cranberry sauce, but again, I see cranberry sauce and gravy sort of the, they're more like in the ketchup mustard mm-hmm. thing, right? Like if we were to say American food, American food, right? Like you'd say burgers, yeah. but you wouldn't say ketchup and mustard, yeah. even though it's intrinsic to the burger. So I kind of feel that way about it. So I think green bean casserole would have been my my pick if there were a mm-hmm. fifth one. But I, I, I do think it's also fairly distant from the ones we picked. <clears throat> if you do go away from desserts, though, then mm-hmm. I think that's... If you were to say, yes. like, like Thanksgiving main. dishes, main, yes. dishes, main dishes, then I think that's in your fourth slot. Well, we didn't have that. We did not have that. So. Yes. And yet we still agreed on the four for four. Yes. yes.